When most people think of balance, they're thinking of it in terms of Pokemon. Grass beats water, water beats fire, and fire beats grass. But what if you gave Charizard here a machine gun and allowed him to turn invisible? Now we have a problem. As it turns out, there are a few classes that are all really good in PvP, and we mean all of PvP. And we know that a lot of you out there do way more than just solo shuffle, so that got us thinking. What is the best class at doing everything? 2v2, 3v3, Solo Shuffle, and BG Blitz. Today, we will rank the top five classes in all of PvP for Season 1 of The War Within for the true Giga Chad gamers. If you're looking to play something new this patch, remember that WoW PvP is honestly a lot like cooking, and you don't want to be that guy getting flamed every game for doing zero damage. If you're sick of being hard stuck in Hell's Kitchen, we've rolled out brand new courses for The War Within at SkillCap.com. Every course is designed to get you the rating you deserve by teaching the fundamentals that actually carry, like damage rotations, burst sequences, openers, and more. And no matter what, we will back you up with a rating gain guarantee where we promise that you will see rating gains while actively using our website. So after this video, be sure to click the link below for an exclusive discount to get started. For now, back to the tier list. Our number 5 pick might come as a complete surprise, but we actually think Evoker makes the cut. Both Preservation and Devastation are pretty solid in all forms of content. Prez is arguably one of the best healers right now in Solo Shuffle, and still really good in 2v2 and 3v3. Preservation is also one of the best BG Blitz healers, not only having ridiculous healing output, but also being one of the best flag carriers of all things. That's right, with high mobility and after recent nerfs to Mistweaver Monks, Prez is really good at playing one of the main objective roles. Devastation is up there too, being being able to FC in a pinch, while also having amazing damage in teamfights. Devastation also continues to be one of the most solid arena specs in every bracket. It doesn't really have many bad lobbies in Solo Shuffle, and can even hold its own as one of the best casters in 2v2. Obviously, augmentation is a bit of a wild card in all forms of content, but hey, evokers at the very least have two very strong spec options for PvP. Next up on our list is Warlock, with all three specs being quite strong in arena. Both Demo and Destro got some pretty significant buffs recently, but Affliction is still really solid. It's quite rare for a class to have three viable arena specs at once, but Warlock currently fits that description. Affliction and Destro are relatively interchangeable, performing a very similar role in 3v3 and Solo Shuffle. Affliction is less about spread pressure these days, and more about doing big microbursts. Destruction, on the other hand, has a lot of consistent damage coming through a few instant cast globals, but even having some decent finishing power with Chaos Bolt and a strong 2-minute cooldown with Infernals, making it quite viable in Solo Shuffle. Demo is a unique case, and has the key advantage of being the only caster in the game with a reliable healing reduction effect and actual lockdown. This allows it to have amazing synergy with other wizards, while still being competitive with melee. While Warlock isn't the best class in 2v2, it's definitely far from the worst, and with recent buffs to demo, we could see its stocks rising in the coming weeks. The only place Warlocks fall a little bit short is in BG Blitz. They're definitely not bad, but a bit held back by their mobility. Gateway is definitely a helpful form of utility on some maps, but Warlocks themselves move like snails compared to other classes. With that said, Affliction Warlocks can bring a ton of damage in teamfights when left unchecked. Seriously, the amount of AoE damage they can do is definitely a selling point for anyone who likes to top the meters. Coming in at number 3 is Druid, which is probably the most dynamic class in World of Warcraft. Feral had an enormous lead in the arena meta for a while, being the best melee in the game in 2v2, 3v3, and solo shuffle for multiple weeks in a row, even after getting hit with some nerfs along the way. We could definitely see Blizzard pull out the nerf bat soon, but that brings us to Boomkin. Boomy is a spec that we think is one of the best long-term investments in PvP, especially in the War Within. While it might not be the best spec in Solo Shuffle, it's only a few more buffs away from being extremely meta-dominant. Its recent rework gave it two charges of incarnation, which is a ridiculous tool to have in Solo Shuffle. And by the way, we got the inside scoop that many AWC teams are actually practicing Balanced Druid in 3v3. Boomkin is also one of the best overall specs for BG Blitz. It's basically a Swiss army knife, custom made to tackle any problems in BGs. It has exceptionally good teamfight damage, while also having the ability to play objectives thanks to its great mobility, control, and stealth, of course. Who would have thought that being invisible is a great tool to have in an objective-focused game mode? Resto Druid might also be a good investment, too, for any arena players. While the spec hasn't been the greatest in 3v3 or solo shuffle so far, we also think it's only a few buffs away from being highly competitive once again. This is a trend we've seen in almost every expansion so far. Resto Druid starts off as relatively mediocre, and then becomes absolute god-tier towards Season 2 and 3. So if you like to do everything in PvP and are 
are willing to play a few different roles, then Druid is a solid choice. Before we reveal our top two, there are some honorable mentions who didn't quite make the cut. First up is Paladin, who just got a massive rework. While Holy has definitely been a standout healer in 3v3 and solo shuffle, it is still a bit outclassed in 2v2 and BG Blitz. Rhett Paladin has been a bit mediocre across the board, struggling in arena, having a few glimpses of being high tier, but then getting outclassed at every turn. While Paladins do have some useful utility in BG Blitz, they're not as dominant as the other specs we've mentioned so far, and not nearly as strong as our top two. Priest was also a strong contender for our top top five, but barely missed the cut. Discipline is a very solid healer in all forms of content, being an absolute beast in 2v2 with the Void Weaver build, single-handedly gatekeeping most double DPS comps. Disc is also one of the best healers in 3v3 and solo shuffle, having amazing synergy with many other meta specs and having repeat appearances in the AWC. Finally, it's one of the best healers in BG Blitz, having high HPS for teamfights, great cooldowns, and some highly unique utility. Despite some recent nerfs, Shadow is also quite strong in solo shuffle, and especially 3v3, where it has been a core part of this season season's god comp. Unfortunately, Shadow does fall a bit short in BG Blitz, where it is definitely outclassed by other DPS. The final honorable mention we have is Mage. If there's one thing you can safely rely on, it's that at least one Mage spec will be viable in Arena. So far, Frost has been a solid caster in 3v3, especially at higher ratings, where it's taken turns with Shadow Priests and Warlocks as the best caster to slot in with high tier melee. Frost is also still really strong in Solo Shuffle, and only falls off in 2v2, where it's a mid-tier spec most of the time anyway. While Fire and Arcane have haven't been the best performing specs in Arena, they're still highly competitive for anyone wanting to invest some extra effort. With that said, the class does make up a ton of ground in BG Blitz, where Ice Wall is an enormously powerful mechanic to have, capable of making clutch plays. Mage is always a bit of a niche pick for BGs no matter what, it's always going to be good, even without any gimmicks. Now the main reason Mage didn't make the cut is because one of our top two classes is just better and easier across the board. But before we reveal our top two picks, we're going to clarify something first. Our number one pick, despite being better overall, is a bit more difficult which might not make it number one for all players. Coming in at number two is Hunter, a class which we think is extremely dominant in PvP while also being very accessible for most players. By now, you probably know that all three Hunter specs are quite strong in Arena, with Beast Mastery being one of the most dominant specs for a few weeks. In fact, BM's dominance goes much further than Solo Shuffle in 3v3 because it's also super oppressive in 2v2. Whenever BM is this good, it's basically a massive gatekeeper for other specs in the bracket. Anyway, out of all three Hunter specs, Marks is currently the worst in arena, but that's not really saying much as we still think it's at least B tier in solo shuffle. Survival is somewhere in the middle though, being significantly harder to play. This is why the types of players who are really good at survival are typically one tricks. You need to be willing to invest a lot of time into the spec since it is so unique. Now, Hunter wouldn't make it to number two if it couldn't compete in BG Blitz, but as it turns out, Hunters continue to be one of the best specs in the new competitive format. Marksmanship might have gotten most of the attention so far this expansion, but even survival is quite strong, putting up some ridiculous numbers on the damage charts thanks to the rework to Butchery. In any case, damage alone isn't what makes Hunters so good in BG Blitz. They are yet another class with a well-rounded toolkit, making them great for objective play. Whether it's defending a base or killing an FC, Hunters can pretty much do it all. But if there's one class which is truly a jack-of-all-trades, it has to be Rogue, which is our number one pick as the best class in PvP. Right now, all three Rogue specs are quite strong in Arena, each having their own niche. Subtlety is still the most ubiquitous and a fan favorite for a reason. It has the nasty double threat of control and burst, making it extremely strong when playing with any high tier wizard in 3v3. With that said, both Assassination and Outlaw have made a name for themselves in Arena so far this season. Asa sacrifices a bit of control for unparalleled AoE damage. It's one of those specs that can snowball the game quite quickly with a single vanish. Outlaw has also been trending in recent weeks, having a showing in the AWC and becoming increasingly popular in Solo Shuffle. It's arguably the hardest rogue spec to learn, since it requires high APM and a lot of attention to detail. Playing around cooldown reduction and the unpredictability of Roll the Bones. Outside of Solo Shuffle in 3v3, rogues are still doing really well in 2v2. Sub is one of those specs that will always be competitive as long as it has enough burst damage, and when paired with an aggressive healer, this comp is a massive execution test, even for the BM hunters that gatekeep the bracket. When it comes to BG Blitz, rogues are in a league of their own. Sometimes the outcome of the game is determined before it even starts. If one team has a rogue and the other doesn't, they're instantly at an advantage. Rogues are the ultimate class when it comes to playing objectives. They can easily assault bases by themselves, relying on exploiting their control in order to ninja cap. Ironically, their control also makes them great base defenders and can survive a surprisingly long time as long as cooldowns are ready. But we're gonna have to warn you once again that rogue is not the best for beginners. It's a spec that thrives off exploiting small advantages. In order 
order to truly stand out in arenas and BGs, you're going to need strong foundational knowledge. And that's why our class courses are so insanely OP for gaining rating, because they teach the fundamentals needed to actually reach your potential in easy to follow guides that you won't find anywhere else. Skill capped is our name for a reason. We have almost 15 years of experience teaching WoW PvP to over half a million players, helping them reach their rating goals season after season faster than the competition. And no matter what, we will back you up with a rating gain guarantee where we promise that you will see rating gains while actively using our website. We even offer a 14 day, no questions asked, money back guarantee for those of you who just want to try us out. So after this video, be sure to click the link below for an exclusive discount to get started. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.